Hey everyone, welcome to my channel again. Um, actually, it's the same day that I recorded the last video, but I'm just wearing different clothes, so you won't know. But I already told you, so shut the fuck up. It's also afternoon, so I'm, I'm really ready, and I'm not tired, because I have this whole cup full of coffee to get through to get me through this video so I was thinking of something I could talk about to you guys and I find it very interesting the stories that I have from high school which was in 2018 which was literally the last time I felt real happiness and also extreme sadness so I'm going to talk about that to trigger myself yeah because i know you guys want to see me suffer and i kind of want to see that too so we are going to start actually in 2017 which was the first time that i actually had one friend which was joseph he was the first person that ever said to me i want to be your friend and i want to go to your house and that's literally the kind of friend that i need right now of course, we were not that um, interested in the things that each other were interested in. For starters, he liked girls, obviously. But I was, I was not into him, thank God. But we became really close friends, and he was one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. He was, and he was a man. Like, I've never had a man friend. A boyfriend. No, just kidding. He was my, my friend that was a man. I've never thought I could be friends with a man. And he is always going to be that best, best friend that I had. Because he was the first one. He was the OG. And he was like, hey, I'm new in this school and I want to be your friend. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, you're literally creeping me out. And I told everyone that I was so scared of him. Because like, I was like, why does he want to come to my house? And Actually, that's, that's the thing that friends do. They go to each other's house. I didn't know that back then, but now I know. And now I know. So he's always going to be that best friend, even though he's kind of mean. But so am I, you know? So yeah, he was one of the, my, my best friends, and I was like very shy. But he was one of the people that brought me to social interactions and the one that first got me started on talking to people. And we actually liked a lot of stuff, uh, the same stuff. So the thing is that later I was like, okay, now I know how to do friends. And I made other friends from my, from my class and I started leaving him apart. But not really, but like, I try to, I try to make new friends because like he wasn't that kind of party boy and I, I really, really, really wanted to get blackout drunk every night on high school. So he was not the kind of friend that I would um, get fucked up with. So I made new friends. There was this group of friends that were like super cool. I mean, not like super cool, but they were like partying every, every fucking um, weekend and they would just go to each other's house, get ready, and they just go fucking insane. So I was like, yeah, I want to be part of that group. So I, was, I had this friend in eighth grade, which is Kami, which is my f best friend ever from, from eighth grade. Eight, nine, one, uh, 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 uh. We're basically on nine years of friendship now, and she was the one who introduced me to all of those friends because she was a party girl, and she still is. So I was like, okay, Joseph, you've been a good friend, but now I'm going to make another one. And he, I don't, I don't think he liked, because the thing is, I can be the same person with many people. I change, and I am a mirror ball. If you know me, you know that I'm a mirror ball. So I was like this complete other version of myself with Joseph. And then I went with this party friends, and I was like a complete fuck boy and i hate that i hate the person that i became 
but at least I partied hard in high school, which was good. So in 2018, I was already part of this group, and we were we were on it. And I was also the president of my class, with many people that helped me. But yeah, and I was I was really sociable. I was really social, and I was really really good at talking. I don't know how. I just you know I didn't I I had the audacity to be so so out there I was like this is me and I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want like I had no clue that I was being fucking annoying <laughs> but yeah my friend Joseph was always ahead of me and he knew what was going on and he knew I would I was a little bitch but yeah I'm sorry Joseph but I just had to party hard on I had to I had to party hard in 2018. So I was with this friends and I started to be like the clown of the of the group. I would crack jokes like every single minute. And that's what really got me a place in the table with them. That I would just crack jokes that I literally heard in friends one night before going to school. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I knew parts of myself I never knew and they appreciated me and I was important so we but I knew they weren't real friends except for Kami but I knew they wouldn't be good to me and they would they could betray me at any given minute but I was willing to take that risk to at least pretend to have a good time on on senior year you know so yeah I was not that stupid, actually, because I didn't get attached to them. I was like, no, this is just superficial. I just hanging out with you guys because I want to party. And this is going to this is going to go. This is what going to happen. And then after high school, I'm just leaving you. Except for Mako and Kami, which always, always stayed my best friends. And they were very, very good people. And also Hime and Veronica. They were very cool. I really like them. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that went down that year. For example, I I hurt a lot of people, which was, I'm not proud of that. I was not conscious of what I was doing or what the fuck I was saying, but I heard a lot of people. But yeah, I was just 17. That's why I relate to the song Betty so much, because I was a complete asshole. I was an asshole. I was a dick. And I didn't, the worst part is that I didn't know I was mean. I was like, no. Uh, and people really, I felt like I disappointed a lot of people. But I just wanted to have fun, so I don't give a fuck. Now, if you want to be my friend, I won't hurt you. I'm, I, I, I learned my lesson. I, oh, I'm so sad. No. Wow, I'm really, really spitting the words out. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. And... And I now I am um, unfollowed all of my high school friends except for for the ones that I really like. So if I follow you, that means I still like you and you're cool. But yeah, I don't know how I did all of these things in high school because I was also a leader of a competition. I was class president. I was also partying and I was also creating really healthy relationships friendships with Anna, Joseph, Oscar which those stayed I, I'm good with them I just don't I'm, I don't talk to them anymore but they were really good friends to me but it was a shit show high school was a shit show for me but yeah, 
I did a lot of stuff, but at the same time, I did a lot of bad, bad stuff that I'm not proud of. But I also tried to create some healthy, stable relationships. So that was high school. There's a lot of stuff. There, I can't even, because in my mind, it's like a full movie of every single thing that we did, which was very fun. Also, I didn't study at all in on my senior year, which was funny because I've always studied a lot when I was a, when I was a child. I told you guys that I didn't talk in, in, in <laughs> when I was a kid. I did not talk. I was just studying, studying, studying. Like for what, you know? And in my on my senior year, I was like, no. I, and I literally improvised on every single test. I improvised. There was, I remember one test on economy, economy class. I didn't read one word. How? How was I so brave? I was literally unstoppable. <laughs> no, but that's just fucking funny I would improvise like I would I wouldn't memorize one sentence at, on any classes I would just um, freestyle it because I had a very um, type of like free charisma I don't know I, I could just talk in public I mean, I probably can, but the amount of courage that my friends gave me or my status at that school gave me really made me blind of the real situation, which was that I was just a dick. <laughs> but yeah, nobody, told, nobody ever said that, hey, you're being a dick or hey, you're literally so embarrassing. No one said that to me ever. I don't know why. Like... Joseph kind of did, and I appreciate that a lot. That shows me that he, he is a real friend. He is a real one. It was like, you're being very fucking weird, and you're a fake ass bitch. And I was. The thing is that I was. But if you told me, hey, you're literally the fakest person I know. If you told me that back then, I would be like, oh my god, what are you talking about? But like... I knew what I was doing. So yeah, that's just very fun. I have, I, there was a mo there was a month where I didn't go to school at all. I think it was September. I just skipped school for like three weeks or probably a month. What was wrong with me? How did, how did I graduate? I skipped a whole month or maybe three weeks. Who does that? That just shows, shows you the audacity that I had. <laughs> what was another thing that I did? <laughs> it's just very fucking... <laughs> um, hilarious. So yeah, I think that's it. I just, I just want to make a video talking about one specific topic. And I'm going to blow this tomorrow. Because I already recorded today. So, if you're seeing this, hey, thanks for watching. And this is vlog 10. That's insane. I have 10 videos already. That's very cool. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like it if you, if you want. And I'll see you, I don't know when, probably Friday. Thanks for being... Um, there to listen to me <laughs> So this is one story if you want like another stories or I don't know just comment I guess <laughs> So thanks for listening, and I hope you like it, and I hope I'm not annoying Bye follow me on tiktok <laughs>